Hazen. Um, and I reckon the that yogurt would go nice with that, like spread over it or something. I'll plate it up. You'll see how I'll plate it up. You know what I'm like by now, guys. I love plating stuff up. Is that Gay Gaika? Have I said that right? Ga Gaika? 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 How you doing, my friend? Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel, guys. Please welcome Gaika to um, the channel. Awesome name. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Hope you're enjoying the stream, my friend. I know we're having an awesome day. We're having fun. Um, right, what are we going to do? This might be a little bit loose, though. That's the only thing. I wish I hadn't added, added too much water to it, but... Either way, it should be fine, regardless. Um, right. I'm going to do a little bit of washing up as well. I'm going to get this into a bowl. I'm not going to put it in a squeezy bottle because it's not going to go through a squeezy bottle. Simples. The second one. And thanks. No problem, my friend. I thought it was. It took me a while to realise what you what your, what your name was. I was like, Gaika, Gaika. Finally, finally got it. Yeah, my pronunciation is not the best, my friend. So I do apologise. Uh, you know, just the way I am. I'm very terrible at my English. Can't help it. Actually, I could help it if I paid more attention in school, but yeah. I was a bad man. I didn't. I, I, I was good at. Good at all my other as subjects. I don't know, English just did not interest me at all. I guess I didn't like reading books and stuff, but... I do like reading books now. It's different when you grow up. I and mean, You kind of wish you'd done something a little bit different when you were younger, but... You know, I got on with maths, I got on with science and stuff at school, but... It's just the way I am, you know. I can't help it. Waves from Canada. Good to see you're from Canada, my friend. How is it over there? What's the weather like, Gaika? It was great, relaxed yesterday. Had to work Saturday, but it was a good driving into work now. So going to be lurking this morning. No problem, Hans. Thank you so much for popping in, though. Um, please drive safely. Try not to type while driving, buddy. Um, it's certainly using your phone while driving is not a very safe option, my friend. Very illegal in our country. Big, big time. You shouldn't be doing that at all. You shouldn't have your phone in your hand at all when you're driving. <clears throat> um, I am near Ottawa. That's pretty cool. I think we've got some Canadians here, haven't we? I quit school at 14. Oh, wow. Why? School really is pointless to an extent. No, it isn't, my friend. You might think it when you're at your age, but when you get later on in life and you come across things and you're like, oh God, I wish I paid attention in school or I'd done this. Believe you me, it's not pointless. It might seem at the time, even I thought that, but um, believe you me, you do use things eventually of stuff in school and you, you, you cannot see it. You cannot, um, sorry, I can't help myself. Um, you know, you cannot foresee it. What are you going to do with your life? I never foresee myself doing what I'm doing now. Um, you know, and I wish I paid a bit more attention in, in English, even though I found it very boring um, for myself. But now I wish I'd paid attention because I would have been a lot more easier with my writing and stuff. So, you know, it's not pointless. Believe you me, you, please, whatever you do, you shouldn't quit school. That's a no-no. You've got to do your school, even if you do think it's pointless, because believe you me, it will help you in the long run. It'll be something you'll do in your life, and you're like, I'm so glad I actually stuck it out and I've done it. Oh, Skywalker, seriously. That's really sad to hear, man. You shouldn't have bunked out of school. Did you say illegal? Oh, wow. Chef destroyed. <laughs> you even inspired me. I'm having whole wheat wraps today. That's awesome, uh, Chef. Oh, Andy, how are you doing, my friend? I was just thinking, Andy Carvalho. I was like, oh, yeah, I know Andy. I'm glad I've inspired you a little bit to uh, 
have whole meat, whole wheat wraps. That's awesome. How you doing, buddy? It's good to see you. You having a day off today? Monday. Good old Monday. I've got my day off tomorrow. Tomorrow on Wednesday. Planning some more stuff. Um, I should have my sub button by by my day off, hopefully. So uh, yeah, I'm the bits and cheers, whatever you want to call them. They'll be all sorted as well. Oh, what a fantastic, fantastic week. So, Overload, you quit school and got a degree. You miss, you misread the person who sent that message. I probably did, did I? Let's have a look. Let me go back up. What did I misread? I quit school at 14. School really is pointless to an extent. Oh, yeah. You got a degree, didn't you? I thought it was Skywalker. Sorry, I got very confused. Um, That was your own choice, but, you know, you got a degree in IT and stuff. And, you know, that's fantastic. That's really good. So, you know... It's not, I can't say yes, I agree with you, but, um, you know, to an extent, school is important to get done, you know. Sometimes, it's just worth doing it. While you're there, just get it done, you know. Um, but I'm glad you've gotten to a job but it's not affecting you, though. You know, that's the most important thing. Maybe you're a very intelligent person. From the sounds of it, you got a degree, and school was um, very pointless for you because you're probably a very intelligent person. So they weren't um, fueling your... Um, your brain power and because that, that's a problem as well uh, some schools they don't realize how intelligent some kids are and they do they get very bored because they're not being you know they're not being not entertained as such not being challenged enough so that may be your case my friend you weren't being challenged enough and that's why you thought school was yeah pointless for you because you're a very intelligent guy so um, yeah sorry I misread that yeah great mate yeah off that's awesome just gave Zach the link. Awesome. Um, how's Zach doing? I have kind of seen. He was went, he went on holiday as well, didn't he? So uh, it's good to see. You two keep in touch, do you? That is really good. I do try and keep in touch with um, Zach as well. I'm on Facebook as well. I've, I have added you on Facebook as well, haven't I? Um, it's good to keep in touch with, with you both. Hope you're all doing good anyway. Um, school is just learning how to press pass exams. I really found the real value in school was learning to do things I like doing. School teaches you how society works. Working with people who didn't like working with them, learning subjects I didn't think I would enjoy. Yeah, totally. Um, as I said, guys, it's worth doing school. You know, it's important to get those standard things uh, going. But, um, you know, sometimes you might be not being challenged enough or, you know, whichever it may be, um, you know, it's worth doing. I disagree. Uh, Spine eyed living in the real world. I getting a job, uh, interacting, adult teaching, you move about society. Yeah, it's important just to get your basics, you know, regardless. I still say the same thing. Um, I wish I'd paid a bit more attention at school, but you know, I did. I got some good grades, to be honest with you. It was just the English part side of things I wasn't good at, and that was it. So. Yeah, make sure you do do your school. It is it is worthwhile. Believe you me. So, what we're going to do now? We've got the fish cakes in the oven. We're going to add a little bit of lime juice, a little bit of salt to the fennel, raw bean and pea. Not too much because we've already got. Oh, let me drop that. Um, we've already got some lemon in the fish cakes. We've got lemon, in, uh, lime in there as well. So there's a bit of citrus, and we got the um, pickled cucumber as well. So, put a little bit of salt in there as well. A pinch of natural sea salt, just to go in there, just for a bit of seasoning. I dropped out of college, but I live in the States. I wasn't taking it seriously, and it was cons costing me money. I also need a full-time paycheck. Yeah, sometimes it can be hard um, trying to learn and do things. I'm just going to quickly do some washing up, guys, so it's all clear, ready, so we can plate up. Um, yeah, it can be costly, and sometimes you, you are forced to go, go do work instead of learning, and it does suck, because sometimes you might not have support, or, you know, it depends on your living situation, so it does, it is, can be annoying uh, sometimes. Um, but, you know, it's never too late to go back to like college or school or whatever if you want to do something else with a career and you need to get a qualification for something you know you can do it it's not 
It's never too late. You never think, oh, I'm too old to do it. It's, you're never too old to do anything or change your career or, you know, go in a different direction, whichever it may be, you know. So you definitely don't give up on anything. Um, you just got to keep going. As I said, I never, I try not to give up on anything. I don't think I have given up on anything, to be honest with you, or like, um, I've obviously like changed my mind and like gone in different directions, but I haven't like, I've always done courses and things, and whenever I've taken a course at college or something, I've always completed it or seen it through, even if I didn't like doing it. I remember the teaching course I did. Um, I was doing it, and I was like, I really don't like doing this, this is not what I want to do. But I did it anyway, and I'm glad I did, because this is really benefiting me, because I understand like the different learning styles and learning curves and stuff. And I'm so glad I pushed myself to do it, because if I didn't, it wouldn't benefit my stream. So, as I said, guys, you just never know what you could end up doing. You might not see it at the time that something's so beneficial to you. Um, but, yeah, it's always worth seeing it through. It really is. So, um, you just never know what you're going to do. You never know what's around the corner. It's always worth just completing projects or, or qualifications, whatever it may be. Even though at the time you might think, this is pointless, it's a waste of time. It really isn't. Believe you me always worth doing on completing things because you just never know what you might use it for. You might not, you know, it might be totally different, but for me, I just always like completing things. I'm always like that. I'm stubborn. I've started something, I've got to finish it, so, you know, and give it a, give it a chance.